Hey guys, today I have a mini collective makeup haul for you and I know I've said two videos ago that the next video is going to be a makeup haul so technically the last video I made should have been the collective makeup haul but then I have ordered some more stuff and I wanted to share with you everything all together but then I ended up not receiving one of them yet so I just, I'm just going to jump into it. The one thing that I didn't get was the Mary Luminizer that I've ordered but you can just know right away that I've ordered the Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I can't wait to get it so this is the one thing that I'm not going to show you in this video that I did order but I'm just going to show you the rest of the stuff that I got so there was one order that I placed at Sephora that had a serious shipping delay that I got for a very long time after that and I knew there was a delay in the order so I've ordered the um, Central Pay Bronzing Mousse and I know that I've showed it a couple of hauls ago that I got one already and it was actually the second one that I got so this one is the, fir the first one that I got but because there was a delay in the shipping that I couldn't wait I just ordered another one from Beauty Bay instead of Sephora but this one that is the one that I've ordered first from Sephora and it came just now so now I have another one of these with this order I've also ordered the Tarte um, like a brow pencil I don't know what's it called but it was for my friend so she already took that and that was the whole order with that order I got my um, birthday gift for the Beauty Insider from Sephora and this year is was the NARS um, says happy birthday one year older I like that so this year or last year last year no this year yeah this year <laughs> this year the Beauty Insider birthday gift was the NARS two of the NARS um, pencils so one velvet matte lip pencil and one um, satin lip pencil I'm not even going to try to pronounce these names because I'm awful at pronouncing names and it's just it glides on so smoothly when I swatched it on my hand it just glides on like a dream so this is how it looks like it's kind of a um, lip color pinkish mauve I would call it I don't know how to describe that but this is how I would describe it and it has a satin finish and it just glides on on the lips so nicely I wore that in my last video on top of my Dervish MAC Dervish lip pencil and I absolutely loved it and the second one is the matte velvet one and it's the red color this one glides on really smoothly as well I really like the texture the texture of those two pencils and this one, this is how the red one looks like it's like a true dark um, cool toned red this is how I would describe it and I really like that as well I wore that once um, since I got it and I really really loved it so this is my birthday gift which I got for free I'm super excited about that then the second order that I placed at Sephora I got four other items and they are all like face stuff so the first one that I got it was the uh, Make It Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer one of their new skin equalizers I know they have a full range of these and they have um, base, I mean technically this is a primer for your face and they have a range of color correcting ones, a range of um, like texture correcting ones this one is the smoothing one, it says number two um, smoothing primer and they all have different colors of packaging so this one is the uh, gray one I really like the packaging, it's really sleek and matte and soft and it looks really nice and expensive and I really wanted to try a different primer I've been using my Benefit Professional Primer for a very long time and I wanted to try something different and I heard that a lot of people say this one is even better than the Benefit Professional one it doesn't have a really harsh silicone feel like the Benefit Professional ones which I don't mind, I actually really like the silicone feel I feel like it really smooths on my skin and makes the foundation apply on top of it really smoothly but this one is really really nice it has a really small tiny nozzle if you can see I've tried this, I've used this about three times since I got it and I don't have anything bad to say about it but I'm not like over superly overwhelmed yet maybe I would like grow to love it the more that I use it I don't know but I find it as good as the Benefit Professional, let's say it that way. So this one is the Make It Forever Skin Equalizer. Then the second thing that I got was the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I hate pronouncing this. The Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. 
and I've used these for years now and I was out of mine for a very long time and I didn't use it. I don't know how I lived without it. I was just applying my, using my MAC uh, face powder for this, the Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. The Mineralize Skin Finish Natural Powder under my eyes, but this one just doesn't compare. Nothing compares to this powder as for a setting under eye concealer. So that's that. Um, it's nothing new to me. I've been using it for a very long time now. Then the next thing that I got was the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. I already have the Dim Light one and I really like it and I like it. It's a little bit darker than this one and I like to use it on top of my blush and on my cheekbones and it just gives a really nice kind of glow to the face. But right now I wanted to get something that is lighter so I got the diffused light one. And this one has a very light kind of yellowy undertone so it's like a really really light whitish yellow. It's pretty sheer. Um, you won't be able to see the swatch, I think. Can you see it right there? It just brightens up the under eye area. I like to use it under the eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and on my cheekbones. Just adds a really, really light, tiny, diffused glow to the face. It makes your face look a little bit more kind of healthy and glowy. So I really like that, especially on the summertime. If you like really subtle highlight, then I would recommend this one. But I've ordered the, the Balm Mary Luminizer just to apply on top of it to give a little more intensity. I still like my um, highlight to be really subtle and really natural and glowy looking like. I like looking like. I just like my face to look like it's glowing from within is what I'm trying to say. I really like it, my highlight to look really natural so this one is great for that. But I've ordered the Mary Luminizer by the Balm just to apply on top of my cheekbones and add a little bit more of a something. So after I've talked about primer and highlighting uh, powder, I've ordered a bronzer. This one was a bronzer that I wanted to try for such a long time. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, bronzer. I really like it. I know that a lot of people love it, especially because of the scent of it. It smells like chocolate. To me, it smells like chocolate and almost coffee. I don't know. I have to smell it each time that I use it. I've used it every single day since I got it and I got it about a week and a half ago. So I really, really love this bronzer. I like the color of it. Some people would think that it's a little bit maybe too orange for them, but it's it really compares to my NARS Laguna bronzer, except that the NARS one has a little bit of a more of a golden glow to it, kind of a shimmer, not shimmer, not one that shows on your face, but it's a little bit more curly I guess and this one is matte so it's really nice it looks really nice on the face at first I was very scared of it to look kind of dirty and muddy because it's matte but it doesn't it, it's what I'm wearing on my face right now right here on my forehead and my temples and under my cheekbones and on the sides of my nose it looks a little bit more orange on camera than it does in person but I just really like it I smell it every time the scent is just crazy. I really like the packaging. Um, it has a little mirror. I just love it and it's so pigmented as well so you, a little goes a long way. You need just a tiny bit of a, just the tiniest amount on your brush and it just apply, applies all over the face. I can't talk. This is so cute. I just saw it. It says fake your bake right here in the packaging. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. That was it for my Sephora haul. The next thing that I got was from Nordstrom. I've ordered it from Nordstrom and I've already used that once in my previous video and it's the Lorac Pro Palette. I wanted to try it for such a long time but I kind of was debating uh, as to get it or not because it seems like I had most of the colors that it has already in other palettes and individuals that I have. But then they posted a picture of this palette, such a pretty picture on Instagram and I just looked at it for like 10 minutes straight and I just loved it. This picture is was really what got me to buy this palette. I just went to Nordstrom and ordered it right away. So this is how it looks like on the inside. It has a mirror and these are the colors. So all the upper row are matte colors and all the bottom row are shimmery colors which I really really like. Um, that they have these this really nice range of colors. They have really natural colors, but then kind of pops of colors like a gold, a um, garnet color, 
which is kind of a burgundy color and these light colors I really really love this matte white color I don't have anything like that that is really straight up matte color the pigmentation of these colors are is insane I've used this palette every single time that I've applied makeup since I got it which was about two weeks ago maybe two and a half weeks ago and um, even when I used other colors, I found myself reaching out for this palette for a highlighting shade or for a darker crease shade. It just has anything that any makeup look needs in my opinion for an everyday natural look or for a smoky eye. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today and this time I, I went for more of an intense smoky eye but I use it for an everyday color, um, for everyday makeup look. And also when I do something colorful, I reach for some colors or for a highlighting shade or for a transition shade. This one called Taupe, I just love it for um, blending and for kind of a transition crease shade. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I really like everything about it. It's so sleek and nice and tiny and the packaging feels great. I just love everything about it. So that was it for all the things that I actually purchased, but then I got a bunch of free samples. I'm not going to show you everything and go through everything because it will take forever, but I just wanted to show you a few things that I really, really loved that I got that are pretty decent and big, big and big uh, sample sizes. So I got the Gucci Guilty, small, really nice. Uh, it was like a free gift with purchase, a limited edition thing at Sephora. It looks so cute. I feel like even if I'm not going to use it or if I'm going to use it up, I'm just going to leave the little bottle to stand on my vanity. It just looks so nice and so cute and expensive looking. I just love it. Then I got the Philosophy uh, Follow Your Heart Body Lotion. I've used it once and I really like it. I believe I got for about a, almost a half a bottle. Um, I really like the scent of it. And then I'm just going to show you, not talk about it too much. The Kat Von D Bachelorette Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. It's the, the writing is so small. So this is how it looks like. I'm just going to swatch it for you. It's like a really hot pink. I'm not seeing myself using it actually because I don't like these colors. This type of color, like a really hot pink. I'm not wearing that. But I've tried to mix it with my uh, Heather's liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it creates a gorgeous kind of a red color so I think I'm going to use it mixed with that then I have the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer I've used it a couple of times and I pretty like it it has a little bit of silicone feel but it's pretty nice it's, it holds the eyeshadows in place it does what it's supposed to do then the Urban Decay 24-7 um, Velvet Glide On Eye Pencil in Black Velvet, which is a dream, you know, I love the Urban Decay, it's right there. I love the Urban Decay 24-hour Glide On Eye Pencils and this one is a, I have the black one and this one is a velvet black one, I mean it's matte and it's just, it's just great. Then I have the Marc Jacobs lipstick lip gloss in kissability this is how it looks like I haven't used it yet it has it's kind of like a pinkish um, mauve color with golden sheen what is what it for right here it's pretty sheer it's right there I don't know if you can see that but I haven't used it yet I'm not a big fan of lip glosses I really like matte lips so um, yeah I haven't used it yet but I might I might use it then I got the last thing which is the hypnose drama mascara volumizing mascara by Lancome and this one I've used every single day since I got it and I love it I don't really understand the brush it's kind of weird it looks like a wave and then it's flat on one end and thinner on the other side, I don't know how to describe it, it's kind of weird, but it works, I really like the formula of it, it's kind of a little bit more dry, so it's not too liquidy, and that's what I like about mascaras, I usually wait for mascaras to dry a little bit, and it starts working good for me after about a couple of weeks, when it dries out a little bit, I don't like really liquidy mascaras, and that's what that was right away at first. So it really volumizes my lashes, it's what I'm wearing today, along with false lashes that you can't really see, 
but day to day this is what I use on its own and I love it. So I might purchase the um, full size of this as well. So that was it for my haul, I really hope you like it. It's not huge but um, I think I got really cool stuff, I really, I'm really happy with what I got, I think I got really good items. So I think most of them are really promising and I really like the little sample sizes that I got and everything. So yeah. Super excited about that. Let me know in the comments below if you like anything or dislike anything that I purchased, if you use it um, for yourself. And I really hope you have a fabulous weekend and I'm going to talk to you all next Saturday. Bye.